everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a Cheryl Cole inspired makeup tutorial it's makeup that she wore on X Factor I saw it on Instagram and I really wanted to recreate it I haven't done it exactly how she's done it I've sort of added my own spin to it um, so if you want to see how I created this makeup look then just keep on watching the first things first I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer this is a really nice primer it has a really nice pearly shine to it I've mentioned it in many videos before so I'm just going to apply that with a beauty blender sponge onto my face, just make sure my hair's out of the way, just gives you a really nice radiant glow before you apply foundation. The foundation I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, I used this in my last tutorial which is quite boring and I'm sorry about that but it's such a good foundation and extremely buildable, I have got a full on review on my blog about it but it's also perfect for this look. So again, just going to, excuse my mirror, I'm just literally going to blend this in and I'm going to build this up to quite a full coverage. Next step is concealer, I'm going to use my trusting um, Collection Lasting Perfection concealer underneath my eyes and I'm going to do quite a strong highlight because Cheryl has quite a strong highlight in the photo I saw. Again with the pointed end of my beauty blender, these are amazing by the way if you haven't tried one, you just literally bounce it in. Next step powder, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. This is such a good powder. I'm just going to brush this over the skin. Go in with some bronzer and this is Smashbox Perfecting Bronzer in Suntan Matte. It looks like this is a really nice colour. I'm just going to use a Zoeva brush is this a 127 luxe sheer cheek brush. Errol's cheeks always look incredible. I'm just gonna try and give myself some cheekbones. <laughs> yes Matthew what guess how much this haircut was? Forty pound. Yes why didn't nobody tell me that? Because that's how much they are. I usually pay twelve pound fifty. <laughs> I said it would be expensive. I said that I said I'm keeping that in my video. Are you recording now? Yeah. Oh, hi. Next step is eyebrows. I'm going to use this number seven palette. I got this last year around Christmas, but it's so good. It's a little bit gross because obviously I use it. Um, but it comes with a pencil and two darker shades and then two sort of lighter shades, but I go between the two darker ones. I'm sure I've mentioned this in a video before. And all I do is get a little bit of Fix Plus. My Fix Plus is broke though, so I can't spray it anymore. So what I just do is unscrew it dip an angled brush in it, work it into the product, just apply it to my brows. Then I'm just going to match the other brow up. And then once I'm happy with my brows, and to be fair I, I am, um, I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Illamasqua um, liquid metal in solstice. I'm literally just going to apply this with my finger. Your ring finger is always the best finger to use because it has the lightest touch and also the warmth of your finger really helps to blend the product in. I'm just going to match up the other side. I'm just going to now go on top with All That Glitters by MAC. It's a... Gently run this over the top. Next I'm going to take Wedge and this is going to be my transition colour, my definition colour and I'm using a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer and I literally just want to apply this into the socket. So if you look down it makes it easier and just blend it out. Next I'm going to just curl my lashes using the Shiomura eyelash curlers. These are so good, like it hardly takes any time at all for them to curl. Then I'm going to use a mascara that I got in a Lancome palette and it is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. This is a really nice one, I'm surprised that I don't use it more often really. Um, but I'm just going to apply that onto the bottom lashes also. 
For false lashes, I'm going to use the Red Cherry Lashes in number 43. They're really nice natural lashes, so I'm going to use those. So whilst I wait for my eyelashes to dry, I'm going to take a Zoeva 237 Detail Shader with Wedge and I'm just going to run it underneath my lower lash line. Cheryl's got a nice black eyeliner on so I'm going to use the Rimmel, what is this called, what is this called, Scandalize. Uh, waterproof pencil on my lower lash line next step highlight Cheryl's not wearing any blusher in this particular look so I'm going to use the number seven radiant spheres highlighter this is a really really nice one it has gold white and pink going through it which I really really like um, so I'm just going to apply that to And finally lips, I'm going to use Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. This is an amazing, amazing lipstick. I'm going to use it as a lip liner also. So I'm just going to take a bit on a lip brush so I can be precise. I'm just going to line my lips with it. I'm just going to fill my lips in with it. And that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed for more videos because i'm going to be posting a lot more often on this channel so make sure you're subscribed for that please feel free to leave any tutorial suggestions in the description box below all of my social media links are in the description box below as always my blog instagram twitter etc and i will see you very very soon for another video